Team, today we're doing some big old Shaquille O'Neal sized hamburgers on the Ninja Fuji XL grill coming up. What's up everybody? Welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ and if you're a returning subscriber part of CJ's crew, you know I love you. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that red subscribe button, that bell next to it so you can get alerts on all what we're doing here. So what are we doing here today? We're going to be making some wonderful cheeseburgers using the XL Foodie Grill and I'm going to tell you why we're using the XL. <laughs> I was at the store. I found these pre-prepared hamburger patties from Meat District. Now, I've used them on my channel before. Not affiliated or anything like that. It's just what I found in my grocery store. And what they did was I guess partner up with Shaquille O'Neal to make some shack size hamburgers. So that's what we have. Big old half pound hamburgers, shack sized. And we're gonna put them on the XL grill because shack belongs on the XL, right? And we're just gonna make some beautiful cheeseburgers out of them, okay? If you don't want cheese on your burger, don't put cheese on your burger. <laughs> but I do. Got some lettuce, tomato, onion real simple uh, dress your hamburgers however you want everybody who knows me knows I like a plain just meat cheese bun a little bacon maybe some caramelized onion but that's it for most people they like you know the onions the the lettuce tomato all that mayo all that stuff so anyway so we're gonna make these burgers the way I want them but I'll dress them up for the thumbnail that you clicked on so the little click baby thumbnail thinking I'm gonna eat all that rabbit food on my burger come on now all right, so it's really simple. We're gonna season up these hamburgers. We're gonna get them on the grill, maybe 10 minutes at the most. I'm gonna go for about medium, you know, medium well. I don't mind a medium rare hamburger, but uh, most people in the house, they'd rather have it well done. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cater to the fam, right? Right. Let's get over to the Ninja Foodie Grill Station, otherwise known as my kitchen island. Let's get started. Okay, team, we are over on the Ninja Foot Grill Station. One thing I didn't have in the ingredients list is we're using these potato hamburger buns. All right, so <laughs> I don't want anybody calling me out in the comments for not having my bun showing. Yeah, just take that for what it's worth. Okay, let's turn on the grill. We're gonna do grill setting high, hit start. We're gonna preheat it. I have the original grill grate in there. Not really worried about grill marks or anything like that because I'm covering up in cheese. Okay, while we're preheating, we're gonna season up these burgers. We got a little SPG by Cosmo Q. Link will be down below. We got some, <laughs> I just wanna show you these burgers up close. All right, little more than a half inch thick. So you know they're gonna be big and juicy, just like your boy CJ. All right, so SPG on top. And then once we get them face down on the grill, we'll go ahead and season the other side. Nothing too crazy. I hope you're sticking with me thus far. But these are going to be really, really nice. Perfect. Come on back when this thing's preheated. Time to get these burgers on. Do not forget to peel off the paper. Very important. All right, we're gonna get the other side seasoned up. These are pretty big burgers too, so they could take a bit of seasoning. But again, I'll leave that up to you. Ain't nothing like that sizzle on there though, does it? It looks so good. Man, they barely fit in there. Okay, let's shut it down, get them cooking. Okay, we got a few seconds left. The burgers are almost done. We're gonna go ahead and get some cheese on there. Let that cheese melt. Uh, one of these burgers we're not gonna cheese up because uh, one of the kids doesn't like cheese on their burgers. So, that's okay. So Nobody's perfect. Then we'll cheese up this one. I gave them a flip halfway through. It is nothing you need to do, but that's what I did. Cut. Well, we got this open. Let's check a temp on this one real quick. All right, so we're we're getting close to about medium in there. Another couple of seconds. We got about 45 seconds left on the timer. We'll actually let it kind of melt in there, finish up in there uh, for another minute or so after we get done. But uh, yeah, looking pretty damn good. All right, team, our burgers are done. They're looking lovely. Melty cheese, 
We're gonna go ahead and build one of these burgers. Got this cheesy, big old shack size burger. On this one I put a little bit of cheddar and a little bit of mozz on it. Gotta have little mozz on your burger. So far so good. I did get a little extra and I toasted my buns. Let's go ahead and get some onions on here. Couple pieces of uh, leafy lettuce on there. Couple slices of tomato. And we'll crown this beast. Oh yeah. Look at that. All right, looking good. All right, let's uh, get a picture, get, get the thumbnail set up, and then we'll come taste it. All right, team, time for a cross section. Use a way too big of a knife. All right, so we got a nice medium in there. Looks good. All right, let's try it. Team, we're done. Got the picture taken. Uh, they look good. Here's the deal. I'm gonna try this burger you know, on camera. You know, because that's what we do. You know, we try the food we cook. But I took all that damn rabbit food off of there, okay? Got me a nice, plain, fat cheeseburger. Gotta love it. So, cheers. Mmm. No. Freaking good. It's a good cheeseburger, all right? And Meat District, you know, big old half pound shack size patties. You done good. Those are good, good hamburgers, great quality. Dig it, okay? That's it, guys. I hope, you know, this is probably a real short, simple video for you. And it gives you an idea how to make a nice, juicy hamburger in there. So, you know, take it for what it's worth. So, I hope you enjoyed it, okay? If you did, hit that thumbs up, comment down below, share this on your social media. I'd appreciate it. If you guys want to get yourself any of this Ninja Foodie grills or any Ninja products, there's a link down below. It's an affiliate link. I get a little cut of it, but nothing extra for you. If you want to get one of these knives, the Dolph Strong knives, the cutting boards, all that good stuff, anything I use on my video, links are all down below. If you want to become part of CJ's crew for real, hit that join button right next to that subscribe button, which you should have already hit by now, and join CJ's crew for real here on YouTube. Get a little extra behind the scenes things. Put your name on the end scroll of the video. Just a little recognition for all our show producers out there. All right. That's it for this week, guys. I hope you have a wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.